what's up everyone we have actually the same HRC's 216 that we did the wheel cleaning on the uh, drive gear or mechanism but now the owner says they were his guys were using it I want to say close to a month now maybe a little bit longer and whenever he went to go use it he knows that this was pulling up really really just a, a significant amount whenever he pulled on the pull cord so we're going to take a look at it let's first put it down i don't want it to start so let's take a look so it's going to be on off but and it's disconnected so it's not going to start but let's see, see what's happening It's definitely a little wobbly. I'm gonna say the front two are not horrible, but there's a mount here, here, in the back, and on the side. I'm gonna say either one or two of the sides are egged out. So let's take it off. just a 10 millimeter they are different sizes however the long one goes on the oil dipstick holder actually I don't think this one can be egged out because it is a slot to begin with on the by the air filter the one in the back I'm not gonna be able to get with this tool the impact I mean so I'm gonna grab a wrench I'm just gonna take it out manually now that it is off we can kind of take a look so this is the one that came out from the front I believe yeah it came out the front That's probably not healthy for it uh, and this one right here came out this side and I was wrong the rear is also just a slide but that is actually a lot better fit this one not nearly as good but still better than the actual round holes so I think we're gonna do a simple fix he is trying to avoid having to buy a new one. We're just going to clean it up with a flap disc. And we're just going to weld a washer on the inside of both. That shouldn't really affect too much of the thickness. And in any case, we can just bend it out if we need to. I have everything cleaned up a little bit. So I couldn't find a washer that was very large. I don't really want a large one, however, because the indentation over here so I need to finish cleaning up that a little bit but anyway but this is pretty thick it's pretty much thicker than the metal that's already there uh, the interior hole was a little bit small so I drilled it out a little bit easy enough so I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this on and try to go as square in the center as I can and do a little eyeballing on it and then uh, take it from there. I'm going to TIG weld it. Now yet another reason why you should always have a TIG welder. But hopefully that should be uh, a good solve. I'll show you the end result. I don't really have Honda paint, so that was the closest one I have so far. But I painted a little bit. That's what it looks like on the welded end. It's not perfect, but it should be good. And the other side is more or less exactly the same. So, I think the only thing we could do is really let it dry for another couple minutes, put it back on, and then we will give it a pull and see if it still shakes and rattles. Oh, moment of truth. Oh yeah. It's way better. So, that's what happened. It's got wallered out. Uh, 
maybe they were loose could just be general wear I mean these are professionally used you know stuff like this is gonna happen more or less technically you could just buy a whole new cover you're probably not gonna have the little uh, decal that comes with it you have to buy that separately if you even care about it I personally wouldn't but I don't know or you could just do what we did here today not that hard limited welding needed call it good so if your cover shakes like this and you have one of these metal covers uh, take a look at the holes inside of them either replace it or build it up with another washer like i guided you know probably good to go for a while the only thing i can see is eventually maybe the weld will break and we'll have to replace it anyway but i've done this two or three times so far and i've never had one come back knock on wood so hope you like what you see keep watching subscribe follow me on instagram at small 101 i'll see you in the next video have a good night